What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Recoup. I'm your host, Cooper Daniels, and today is Monday, March 25th, right? I hope I got that right. Monday, March 25th. How the fuck are you doing, people? Sorry for swearing. Are your children watching? Do you watch The Recoup with your small children on your lap and say, honey, let's watch The Mustachioed Man? And then I'm like, how the fuck are you doing? Guys, today is the day that we all all get excited, folks. We have markets pumping. We've got the uh, London Stock Exchange allowing for Bitcoin and ETH. We got Sam Bankman-Fried going to face the consequences of his scheme on Thursday. This is a big week, folks. What else is going on? Donald Trump's got some shit happening today. Um, RFK Jr. is announcing his vice president can, uh, running mate. His running mate. That's You don't need to say the vice president running mate. All you got to say is uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is uh, announcing his running mate tomorrow in Oaktown. G- G-Unit. That has nothing to do. G-Unit has nothing to do with Oakland. Okay. The fact that I even did that is embarrassing. The, what Everything I've said in the beginning of this show is borderline embarrassing, but who cares? Have you guys noticed I get embarrassed? Not very easily. You know, folks, my, um, my wife got really nice tickets for the Pacers Clippers game tonight. They were, somehow she got these tickets and she's like, you know what? And this is a couple of weeks ago. She was like, you know what? I'm taking Zach. I got these tickets. Usually you take him. I'm going to the game. You're not going this time. I'm going. And I go, okay, yeah, no, that's great. Like, you guys should. You should. You never go. You never go to these things with them. It's always me. Yeah, do that. Me and my son, I was like, hey, Zach, all right, listen. Your mom is very insistent on taking you to this game. He goes, good. No, it's good. Me and mommy never go. It's all good. Like, yeah, And I'm like, I know. It's all good. It's all good. But I just hope when she backs out last minute and I end up taking you, you're not disappointed. And he goes, okay, daddy, you know, either way, I get to go to the game. And I was like, all right. I didn't actually say she backs out last minute. I just said, you know, she she may or may. And then all of a sudden, folks, guess who's probably going to the game tonight? You know, I'm just right about everything. You know what I'm saying? I like telling my wife that. It really pisses her off. Folks, I just revealed that I'm a dickhead. Damn it. I keep on doing that this last week. This week has been a bad week for just revealing the true nature of my um, my diabolical ways. Folks, look. Oh, yeah. And I didn't even mention the My Algo hacker is back. He's back, folks. Right in time. Right in time for our buddy Crypto for Change to launch a meme coin on base called Reaper. The Algo Reaper is back. He's like, you know what, man? There's nothing really left, but I'm going to show these idiots that I'm still here. If there is, if you ever needed more proof that this is an insider, somebody that we all know playing games, Somebody getting vengeance on Algorand, just toying with the community, trying to kill this community, him showing back up or her showing back up. And this time when it does feel a little angsty in the community again, and then of course the My Algo hacker comes back in just to show that they are still around. But I refuse, folks. I refuse to to dive into that anymore. You guys can make it more what you want. Time for some recoup. What's up, Gov? Nice to see you, buddy. Buddy, buddy's back. What was, what's the other one I always do that irritates me? Buddy irritates me. And um, I don't think I ever do pal. Um, evening animal style, not London, but Defo in Wales. There's Bitcoin in the hills. Evening all. What's up, Richard? Everyone in the chat should be jumping into the meme coin. I am launching on base. Hey, read me in that crypto news coop. It's Buddy Man. He revealed um, on his Twitter timeline that he had a certain individual from the glorious Algorand community. I think his name is Aaron from a project called Get Outside. Apparently, this guy called Buddy Man's work and told them, I don't know what they told he told him, but he slandered him, tried to get him fired because old buddy man drew a picture of um, a cartoon 
that uh, that may or may not have been this guy peeing his pants. <laughs> oh man, that's fun. Um, the Reaper is coming. Crypto for Change says front page. The Reaper is coming. Let's go. He, Crypto for Change knows that if he puts it in the comments, I'll read it. So this is free advertising. If you want free advertising, you put it in the comments and Anchorman just reads it. We've gotten some wonderful uh, quotes in the day of me just reading my comment section. The Coop Coin community got, if you sell Coop, your mom's a hoe or something like that. Uh, our buddy Algo Bama, definitely a friend of the show, um, typed that in the comments. I read it and people clipped it and they ran with it. That intro is slick as fuck. That is thanks to Block Runner from Flemish Giants. Same team, Algo Bama, Block Runner. That team is also connected with Fractal Monsters. Um, some of the coolest builders in Algorand. Motherfuckers. Um, Crypto for Change. Coop, I want to see a live edition contribution. Oh, shit. I got to get some ETH on base. Freaking Crypto for Change is making me waste money. God damn it, Crypto for Change. God damn it. You know that you, you're you creating a, a meme coin called Reaper right as they're about to kill all this shit, right? You better pump this shit. I'll put some stupid ETH into your goddamn Ponzi, but you better pump this shit. All right. Good morning, good evening to everyone. We got Evis. Evis from uh, the land of Algorand has launched A200. It's a meme coin that announces that Algorand shall reach $200 when he sleeps in the middle of the night <laughs> in his one wildest dreams. Man, what if Algorand just hit... Fucking 40 cents. No, but what if Algorand hit $10? Holy shnikes. That would be fantastic. But anyways, you know, he's taking some heat, but old boy's trying to pump it. Pump, 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 pump. All right. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm working through the, <laughs> the webs right now. I'm just screaming shit. Sorry. You will be more right when you get in that Reaper pre-rich pre, pre, pre sale. Gee, <laughs> it's terrible. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> it is easy to say it though. Or, you know, I, I commented on um, RFK's um, post that he better come out to I Got Five on it and announce Marshawn Lynch or Too Short. He could come out. It would be even funnier if he came out to like something like, uh, what's that, Hyphy song by Keek the Sneak? Or, uh, you know, even though Mac Dre was a Vallejo uh, rapper, he still reps. Oakland, even E40, you know, he's a Warriors fan. He's Vallejo too, but come out to maybe like Fizz Dance or Ghost Ride the Whip. Man, I love Bay Area hip hop. That just may, reminds me of being a fucking 16 year old dude in a Camaro. I had fun. I like that music. I don't think it feels angsty to most people, just some. Sorry, man. I waited until last minute to ask her out. <laughs> yeah, God. Oh, man. What if that happened? What a movie that would be. Imagine you guys see me, you know, uh, you see me on here and I lose my shit about certain things. Imagine if a, a subscriber to my show stole my wife. Oh, man. North Korea right in the bull market with Algo. Kim knows. He'll probably buy Reaper later. I don't know what he's referring to, but that's an interesting theory. All right. The gains you will make. We going to pump it. Yo, yo, what's up, Caleb? Thanks for showing up, Chief. What's up, Chief? Seems to annoy some. Oh, Chief. Yeah, I don't do Chief. But yeah, Chief's a little weird. God. What was I? I is Buddy and something else that I do on this show that I'm like, oh, God, why did I do that? Anyway, so it's better. FIFA, if you watch and make a one and only card that will be random spawned by someone and has Messi holding the world's trophy and costs millions. I don't know uh, what he's talking about, but it sounds like there's going to be a one, a one of one of Messi holding the world's trophy. I'd like that. Good afternoon, Cooper Holics and Algo Addicts. What's up, Pablo? Thanks for showing up. Um, Two hundred dollars is our five hundred and eighty-nine of XRP. Man, both Algo and XRP have had disappointing price action. It would be nice to see both of those things fly. You know what, Evis? I hope that you, I hope you will this thing into existence. I'm rooting for you, dude. 
you and your countrymen in Cyprus, your Greek friends. I love that ocean. I love that area of the world. I'd like to go to Cyprus. Let's do a A200 convention. I'll MC. I'll, I'll host the whole damn thing. Algorand to 200 bucks. I'll do the whole thing. Fly me out to Cyprus. Let's hang out. Is there a war going on? Are we safe? Maybe I should just stay in my bunker and buy ammo. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, XRP has a little bit of high total supply. Yeah, it keeps on going. But we are going to. You are welcome to come. All paid. Oh, shit. When will you listen to CFC? My base bag is getting too heavy. I know, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. I've had interesting times in my life right now where I have not been able to spend like as uh, judiciously. I'm not selling my 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 favorite things, but there has been some stuff that has come up where I've had to spend. And I keep on taking L's like that. It, they're so obvious, like arrow, even though I felt like, you know, it was later and it was already pumped up. But I was like, gosh, you should just at least would you just throw a grand at arrow at 62 cents? Did you just do that, bro? Didn't do it. Oh, I'm a dick. There are things that you can do though, folks. You know, there's, this is the time you got to figure this out. You got to figure out how to uh, farm airdrops on the Ethereum network. You understand? You got to figure out how to get involved in different test nets and uh, see what you need to do in order to get the airdrop season is among us. And we need to figure this out collectively. Bear a chain. Um, the based AI, we got a ZK sync. Is there a way, is there something that you're doing? Are you guys doing shit? Will somebody reach out to me in my DMS and help me help my followers figure out how to get this free money? Will you do that? Help me, help me help you. If you're out there and being like, bros, you got to do this, this, and this, and you're telling your friends, let, tell me about it and let's figure out how to make sure that the Algorand, certainly the, I mean, I'm talking to more than the Algorand community, I hope, but I'm just saying, let's, let's liberate ourselves from uh, Portum. Just thinking that Algorand, Sylvia McCauley, Gary Gensler, and freaking George W. Bush are going to um, push our wealth to the future. Of course, it might, and it's great, but man, there is so much money being printed in crypto land that they're most certainly going to rug it at some point to bring down inflation. But until then, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Jesse says, <laughs> that's pretty funny, Jesse. I like it. If Algo goes to 200, I'll buy Cyprus. <laughs> What's up, TD? Nice to see you. Um, let's see. I know. Uh, crypto for change is over there in base getting rich because he was been hollering about it and it only going up. And it has been the obvious play. I've been talking about how base is the only layer two that makes sense. And I own some shit on it, but not enough. Not as much as old boy. Yeah. Rar is another one. Arrow at 130. I mean, arrow at 130. Oh my God. You know, you can listen to me because I got the right ideas. Just sometimes I'm stupid and don't put my money where my mouth is and I just stack sats. And there's a lot of you out there that would think that that's the right thing to do because it's the more long, there's more longevity. But boy, oh boy, if this is the beginning of a bull market, you better move out of your comfort zone of just stacking sats and your favorite, you know, layer one and figure out how to take on some of this opportunity. And then you can put it into uh, stacking stats. This is, the, this is the game that they all play. Using my child's um, Bowser cup today. First time. Hmm, I just upset myself talking about Arrow. I do own well. That one is lagging. So I guess there you go. I think well is only um oh, damn it. Well is only a hundred and or only uh, like a fifty or sixty million dollar market cap. Do I have a napkin anywhere? I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that coffee there. Um I can use this piece of paper. Fuck this paper. 150 or 50, 60 million dollar market cap. <clears throat> I think one of the guys from Coinbase 
is, um, you know, brought that to us. So you would think that Well would end up on Coinbase. It's one of the largest money markets there. So that's a potential opportunity. You can buy that on Moonbeam. You can buy that on um, Based. 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 All right. Reaper at free. Uh, if Algo goes to 200, I'll buy Cypress. We did that one. I like it. If you take all the emotion out of it, do you think boy, oh boy, if you take all the emotion out of it, do you think boy is a good early chain to give a try? Well, look, folks, I do. I mean, why not? AVM and it's exploring. But I want to say maybe something to the people on VOI, the people that are committing all of their time to VOI. Make sure that you don't get so wrapped up in this one thing that you uh, let the whole entire bull market pass you up because you were so focused, hyper focused on this one thing. Make sure you're open to other things as well. That's my non-financial advice. But yes, There's a passionate community right now about it, and let's see what they can do. Everybody smash the like button if you like Algorand is capped at $10 billion. Boom. Do it. I'm rich, bitch. Hell yeah. About to book my trip to Bora Bora. Man, crypto for change. You're realizing profits. You're over there getting rich. Don't hodl Algo DeFi with us. I was screaming Arrow at three, four cents. Were you really? I'm not a non- Crypto for change. I'm a fucking person that you actually have my phone number, bro. If you were screaming it so loud, why didn't you just be text me? <laughs> Bought $2,500 in iBit this morning. Oh, shoot. Coop, uh, have you seen the tweet by Securitize? They tweeted about tokenizing on their platform and named Algorand directly after ETH. <clears throat> I did not see that tweet. Did they actually name Algorand? I know that Borderless Capital is one of the main investors in Securitize. And I know that Opulus was doing their MFTs on out, you know, they were when, while they were a Algorand project, they were doing their MFTs on Securitize. And then there was some reason, there was some uh, regulate, regulatory problem there. So they had to move off of Securitize. But yeah, five algo equals one BTC. Good afternoon, native. Thanks for coming. Beware of SUI token. Oh, that's another thing. It's another thing, friends. Another thing that is happening this week is there is a lot of um, unlocks happening. I believe, and now if my memory serves me correctly, OP has a massive unlock. Uh, I think Sui, that's what reminded me of it. I think they have a pretty big unlock. Um, there was another one. They even had a bigger one than uh, OP. I think it's like 100 million being unlocked in OP. Oh, yeah, five days ago. I saw that. I didn't see. I don't remember seeing Algorand. One day after BlackRock made public that they're going to secure assets on ETH. Yeah, isn't the partnership for BlackRock with Securitize? What does that mean that Sui has an unlock? It means that Sui, a lady named Sui. Um, uh, well, so Sue um, will, there's a lot of um, early investors. There's uh, people that got in early. And there, but they weren't allowed to sell their tokens. And so the the fear, the fear and the theory would be once they are allowed to, they dump that shit. Okay. So then the circulating supply is going to be more because now there are unlocked tokens available to be sold. And these people will get rich off of selling them. So they probably will do it unless they're extraordinarily bullish on Sui. And then who knows? OP is interesting, but man, do they, they, they hand out OP tokens like a, a, a mother. Yes. BlackRock mints their assets with, with Securitize. Yeah, they're putting, so what are they, what are they doing? BlackRock is what they're tokenizing treasuries and they're minting uh, tokens that are basically like stable coins. And uh, you have to, I think it's a minimum of $5 million investment. And so if you put $5 million in, it's using Ethereum, the, I think the main chain, the rich man's chain. And every month, you, it's going to automatically, you know, you're going to automatically get your yield from your treasury um, exposure. So I think they're making it pretty efficient and they're doing it, man. They're using Ethereum. Can you imagine being not bullish on all of this stuff? I mean, BlackRock... These mother, these evil ass dudes. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. Are they? I think so, right? Certainly are with real estate and stuff like that, turning us all into renters. We're going to be renting our Bitcoin just so we can feel like we're rich. Be like, hi, BlackRock. Can I rent 0.001 Bitcoin to show this girl? Um, pretty soon, folks. It's not going to be a, um, a gross thing that you're in crypto. They're just going to be like, oh, shit, you're rich. And you're going to be like, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Saw a person who did one in-person event for OP get a grant for like 130000 This is what I'm talking about. What am I doing? I got to go on OP. What should I do? What can I do? Dumping on BlackRock will be nice. All right. All right, folks, let's get going. Let's see what's going on in the news. I'm not even sure. What are the stock, what's the stock market doing? I know that Bitcoin tapped 70K. That'll be fun to see. Um, let's go see where, where it's at right now. Let's go have some fun and navigate the noise. All right, so the Dow is down uh, 156 points, almost a half a percent. The S&P 500 is down six points, you know, sideways. And the NASDAQ is pushing up ever so slightly. Now, I am excited about all of this stuff. You know, the market is at all-time highs. But boy, does it, I mean, does anybody else agree that this just feels dangerous? It feels like they're going to rug us. <laughs> but I could be, you know, obviously could be wrong. Maybe they're not going to rug shit. It is an election year in the night in the United States. So who knows? Who the hell knows? We'll see. Okay, so we got the Boeing CEO to step down. Okay, there you go. And broad management shakeup. Did that pump it? Wow. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Hi, Bitcoin. Over 70,000. Can't be mad about stacking sats right now. I mean, I'm. it's not quite the percent that old uh, CFCs having over at uh, base, but... Um, I feel pretty good about it. All right. So Trump, New York fraud bond cut to 175 and appeal from 454. All right. So he doesn't have to do a half billion dollars. He has to do $175 million. Probably a more rational number. Um, okay. I don't want to dive into that. All this crap. I'm trying to avoid it. Inside Austin's Bitcoin underground. I'm not going to look at that, but it sounds fun. Um, I'd like to go to the Bitcoin underground in Austin. Nicola. I remember this from the old SPAC days? Certainly never bought that crap. Sorry, I've been swearing more, a little, a little more unhinged over here on the recoup. I think I'm just deciding that, you know what? Like, why don't I just be exactly my damn dumb self and try to have some fun and also kind of mix it up a little bit? You guys don't really like it when I mix it up, but I'm going to keep mixing it up because well, whatever. You guys, the thing is, is that the safety, the uh, careful nature that some of you want me to maintain is not a scalable thing. Nobody gives a shit about somebody being careful. What value am I bringing if I'm careful? Oh my God. Israel's mad. Okay, uh, Trump vows to pay fraud trial bond cut by 68% to 175 million. Okay, we're done with that. I don't want to talk about Trump. Um, Moscow attacks suspects paraded, suspect, suspects, paraded in court as to plead guilty. Man, wouldn't want to be those guys. Okay, FTX is selling that. Crypto funds mark biggest week of outflows on record. Am I sharing this? I'm not seeing anything in the mainstream media that I need to click on. No government shutdown in the United States. All right, I'm done. There is nothing, nothing I cared about.
Okay, let's get to this uh, stuff. Okay, so there we are. Bitcoin, hi Bitcoin. You're at almost 71,000. Okay, we'll look at prices in a second, but look at all this crap. Look at you. Look at you people. All right, how to improve transparency and public trust in crypto markets. Okay. London Stock Exchange will start market for Bitcoin and Ether, ETNs. And let's look at this. This is big news. This is in the title of the show. London Calling. You guys fans of The Clash? Uh, London Stock Exchange will start market for Bitcoin and Ether, ETNs, May 28th. Okay, the London Stock Exchange will roll out a market for Bitcoin and Ether exchange traded notes. The Stock Exchange will accept applications for trading those things on uh, April 8th. The FCA said earlier in March that it would not turn down requests from recognized investment exchanges to create listed market segments for ETNs. The products will be available to professional investors only at the time. The London Stock Exchange said it planned to accept applications for Bitcoin and Ether ETNs by the second quarter of this year. Regulators have been moving to make the country more crypto friendly following several announcements from the UK government to make the country a crypto hub. There you go, folks. London's on the scene. Man, and so are the EOS desk uh, pop-up ads. Why is the media seemingly less interested in Bitcoin than ever? They're scared. That's why. There's some like there also by the way, so we got we got Sammy Banks uh, getting uh, sentenced on Thursday, but also the people that decided on John Ray to be the uh, what is it the the law, the law firm that kind of bullied Sam into handing over control of the country or the country the um, the company, they're also being investigated for not being honest actors. FTX, man, is, oh God, it's just gangster. Fucking some of the shit that people will do. Okay, we got to refresh this because look when Bitcoin was at 63, not anymore. So I think this is from, okay, Elizabeth Warren. Crypto is helping rogue states, terrorists, and criminal organization on a scale we have never seen before. This woman just won't shut up about this. Binance is success. Okay, what is happening here? All right, Binance's successor in Russia, Comex, um, halting deposits and undergoing phased closure. Comex has halted deposits and it's closing down. The company acquired Binance's Russian business in September of last year. Comex, which previously acquired Binance's Russian business in an undisclosed deal, has halted deposits and is closing down. The Russian crypto exchange is undergoing a phase closure, beginning with today's suspension of new uh, user reg uh, registrations. Futures trading will wind down. It's closing on April 23rd. Philippines are taking steps to block Binance. Sam Bankman frieds former friends at Jane Street are buying um, his AI stake. What do we got? We got any other... Um, should we go do one more? Should we do Blockworks? All right. I think we. I think we ran that to the ground. Let's go to Coin Market Cap and see what's going on. I think we're back. We're feeling good. Are the memes? There we go. We're in greed at eighty. Bitcoin low volume, by the way. But we're on Monday, so it's always low volume on a Monday. So we'll see what the volume really is tomorrow. 
Um, Ethereum is pumping back up. It's up 7.5% in the last day, almost 8% for Bitcoin. Um, yeah. BNB looking good. Solana is up 10% in the last day, almost 200 bucks. Almost 200 bucks. XRP underperforming per use. Avalanche uh, making its way up to 60 bucks, 8.5% in the last 24 hours. Toncoin ton coin continues to pump a ton. Polkadot trying to make its way back up to 10 bucks. Chainlink trying to make its way back up to 20 bucks. Stacks on stacks on stacks. OP up 420. Dog with hat rounding out the top 50, down 2% in the last hour. Floki doing good. Say what you want to say. Okay. Where are we at? Okay. Algorand, Algorand, you could build something on top of it. Um, just please build something on top of it. Anything. I'm just kidding. Real world assets, travel X, agro token. Twenty six and a half cents up almost 6% in the last 24 hours, almost 7% in the last seven days, pushing down in the last hour though. Sui with that unlock, um, just right behind Algorand. And then rounding out the top 60 is Gala. Quant up 10%, up to almost 150 bucks. Cool. Let's go to Vestige. Prestige. I'll go 200. Can't stop, won't stop. Let's check it out. Look at that. Three and a half cents, folks. Man, somebody sold, but then they're like, no, 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 no. We keep, we keep mooning. We do the moon. Look at that A200 Redini. Almost $40,000 in TVL. They're really adding it. Almost $10,000 for um, A200 Coupe. A200 algo. I've been trying to, with the airdrop that I got, been trying to add to this pool. I don't know. You know, whatever, guys. Like, old boy is uh, trying to do his thing. I don't know what, you know, I don't know what to say. I know some of you might not like it. I don't really know. I don't know what to say. None of this makes sense. So if you're over there trying to make sense of things, I don't, I don't recommend that right now. I don't recommend trying to make sense of much of this stuff. Opal is um, Opal is up to almost 30 cents. Look at that, 11% in the last 24 hours. So that's definitely pumping. KubeCoin is for the gains and the things that you're going to get. It's taking a little step down. That's probably, maybe this is why there's some angst towards um, A200, is that it starts to affect, and you see people moving maybe out of Coop into A200 or out of Akita, um, which seems to be doing fine, actually. Gora, Gora still solid, down a bit in the last 24 hours, but still solid. So is Nico. Nico, maybe, you know, that's another one that they may be moving out of because that was the hype for a second because of those fun videos, those fun animations. Um, so we'll see. We shall see, folks. We shall see. This is up a bunch. Okay, so this is... There you go, folks. This is up a lot. Radini, the research and development initiative, I guess. Respectful development initiative. All right. So we feel good. Ludo's in the building. Vote coin, always a, a front page on Vestige. How's gold doing? How are precious metals doing? Do 
doing pretty good. So gold um, is up to what? 2,174, up a quarter of a percent today. In the last month, it's up six, basically six and a half percent. Not doing bad, not doing so bad in the last six months, it's up almost 14 percent. So the store of gold continues to store, or store of value continues to store value. Silver is uh, down a bit. It was over 25 bucks for a bit there. They keep, uh, they keep a lid on that action. I was looking at this the other day. Let's see. That's yeah, pretty cheap to move Ethereum right now, either. All right. Let's go back to the chat and see what you guys are doing. I don't want that. All right. Oh, I just did. Hey, well, that was uh, a okay. Let's let's get up here. Let's see. We should be rich if we had been creating content. We would be rich if we had been creating content on OP Coop. Laughing my ass off. Optimism. Optimism, am I too late? I'm optimistic. Does that help? Sorry. Uh, see, guys, when you just say whatever the hell you want to say, it sometimes it's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Saw so a person. Okay, we already talked about that. Uh, dumping on BlackRock will be nice. If BlackRock is evil, are the laws and people who allow them to do what they do also evil? Oh, TD Dragonfly. I don't know if they're evil. They just run the world. We need an airdrop. Gandalf to guide us. Exactly. It fe always feels like they're going to rug. <laughs> USA, three letters. FTX, three letters. Oh, man. Jesse's over there putting the pieces together, folks. FBI, CIA, CFC, Crypto for Change. They're all connected. Why is base the only layer two that makes sense? Because I think, well, okay. It's not necessarily the only layer two that makes sense. Okay, so that's a, a, a statement. But I was saying, especially a few months ago when I was looking at layer twos, layer two season, everybody was talking about. And you just see now with this blob upgrade where now layer twos are the, the, um, the transaction fees, I think, are nil at this point. It's just such a centralized thing, layer twos. And there can be censored, all this stuff. So I always thought, since the beginning of base being like, all right, well, if they are centralized, like I think they are, which I'm sure they're working on making it not so, I was like, well, then obviously Coinbase's base would be the one because it has, and it's also just like an easy way into DeFi. It's the easiest way into DeFi for all of the people that would only just hold things on Coinbase. They can explore DeFi and almost not even understand that they're exploring DeFi and they can continue to abstract away all the complexities of that. And then just, you know, you can be moving along. Probably Coinbase, the centralized exchange is going to disappear and base is just going to be the base. So it's certainly something to figure out how you can gain exposure to, in my opinion, not financial advice. A200 is going to rug you with the creator holding all the coins and the peasants adding the liquidity. <laughs> well, I mean, look, this isn't the ethos of... Uh, crypto this isn't the ethos of to to say something like this but if you've been in the algorand community for a long enough time you know who evis is and you know that uh it's going to be okay he's not going to he, he might he, maybe he messes up or something but this guy is not going to just rug and disappear i don't think I think he's more likely to burn his own money to make sure it doesn't do that. <laughs> so, but I mean, that's just my instinct about it, but I don't really know. Um, I would say it's the most similar to what happened with Binance and BNBs. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. Smash the like button to support Coop. Do that. Yeah, 20 watching, four likes. Click the button. I've got 350 watching this, buddy, man. Is there only four likes? Oh, because you're only watching on YouTube. Everybody watches me on Twitter now, buddy, man. Okay. There's 350 people watching. I see nine likes, he says. Refreshed, 14. 
Um, yeah, no, there's definitely more than 20 people watching. <laughs> Unless this thing's lying to me. Um, everybody smash the like button if you want to see concentrated liquidity AMM on Algorand. I can like that. I want to see it. Let's go, Ludo. But Frugal BC said we didn't have to smash it. He said we could push it gently and it would work just fine. Why the hell are you listening to Frugal BC? No, nah, he's a nice guy. You can listen to him. Yeah, you don't have to smash it. Just like it. Just hit the button, however you want to do it. Do you feel like it's a smash? Then smash. If you feel like it's a gentle tap, 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 then just tap, tap, tap. Larry Bullock, you just do whatever you prefer. I think Coop will also be grateful for smashing and also pressing gently. <laughs> like you, Ludo. Thank you. It's a good time. GG, what's up? Coop, I haven't heard you mentioning the vote coin for some time. If you have any questions, just ask. I mean, I didn't even see that, Ludo, and I mentioned it. So you probably were typing that, and I just was like, I feel like Ludo needs me to say Voight coin. Samino, what's up? Look up the new wallets that base is building. Look up the new wallets that base is building. All right. People will be able to do so much and not have all the barriers that other chains have. Exactly. Took some profits and topped off my Bitcoin SV bag. I recommend getting some digital asset lottery tickets while under $100 USD. All right. Hey. GG is um is going in on Bitcoin Satoshi Vision. I watch on YouTube. Does it say only 20 people are watching when you watch on YouTube? I see 18. So I can talk to you, Coop. I think you can you talk on Twitter. I think people talk on Twitter too. Larry Bullock says, great show. Coop being himself makes me feel like I found my long lost older fucking bro. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm looking for. Um yeah, no, no. They're all, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're all watching on Twitter, folks. So can we just say this? If you're watching me on YouTube and you think you're a lonely, a lonely little individual that you're only 18 people are watching, it's not true. Most of the people are watching on Twitter these days. All right, everybody? Nobody watches me on YouTube anymore. It makes me wonder if I should even be doing this on YouTube anymore. Be honest. Restream. Using restream. Yeah. So it says I've got 350 people watching on uh, Twitter and I have 20 people watching on YouTube. So Elon's doing something right. Not, not for my YouTube monetization. I'm not monetized. I watch you on YouTube. Well, thank you guys. And everybody that would, um, oh, I've got some bad news, Coop. The Twitter volume includes all viewers and accumulates. It doesn't show the exact number during that period of time. Well, I don't know. Um, is that really? I mean, I know that that's the way it reads it on, on Twitter. But does that, um, is that the way it reads it, like, as you're doing it? Um, I don't know. But it's definitely climbing as I talk about it. If I just keep on saying the word Twitter, does that help? Twitter? Hello, Twitter. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's at 354. Uh, what's up, Ibu? How you doing? There he is, Ibu, the head of partnerships at Folks Finance. He's in the building. Um, all right. Is there anything else that we should talk about, folks? Are we happy? It makes me wonder if most people are watching from smartphones. I may be one of the last of the desktop audience. Jeffrey has been um, watching this show from the very beginning, 100%. He's, he was there. I remember I remember this handle from the beginnings of the first Algo Fest, where I first met Ibu, as a matter of fact. I remember... We were doing interviews all day, me and Crypto Nerd. And Ibu came on and I was like, oh shit, this guy, this guy's more handsome than me. What the fuck, man? Wait, Craig is Satoshi now? BSV too? <laughs> I never left Coop. Thank you. I use desktop as well. Okay, you guys are in the desktop audience. We're almost up to 400 now, folks. It's going up. I'll you don't have to transfer to X. You don't have to. <laughs> but I, it just makes me realize um, how paltry that, that number is. Oh man, what do we do now? You know what I'm saying? Am I done? I'm just like, I don't know what to do here. Oh, I want to see, you know what I want to see? Well, well, let's look real quick. Let's start sharing the screen again. Let's, I want to see what Reddit's doing. How's that? How's that doing? 
Is Reddit pumping? What tab do I want to get rid of? I'll get rid of this. Oh yeah. You guys buy that dip? It closed what? I'm at 45 something. Okay, it opened at 47 today and it's gotten up to 54. I won't be touching that until it has a correction. But we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe Reddit is is primed. I mean, they're putting crypto on their balance sheet. And that could be um, that could be bullish. What are the things? I guess we could look at X. See what's going on there. Ba do do do. All right, let's go to X real quick. Make sure I'm not in my DMs. I'm not. All right. Algram will be my main blockchain till moon or zero. But if you're being so loyal that you refuse to use other blockchains, you're missing out. Solana isn't as bad. Okay, so he's he's being like he's, he's sort of on the same vibe that I was saying. Um, which label do you prefer? Example, this is Ibu. He just tweeted this. Example, Algram blockchain. Aptos Chain, Avalanche Network. I'll grab blockchain, I think. I'll give you the boat. Somehow donated outside token to this thing. Ba -do -do -do. All right. There's nothing here. All right, folks. Now I'm just, you, you know the show is about done when I just start scrolling my Twitter feed. Do you guys have any more questions? Are we have we done it? What did you what did you tell me? I'll transfer to X. Let's just stay here and watch number go up. It's the only way us algo holders can do it. Oh yeah, Governor's Hat told me about Reddit. Yeah, I know. Shit. Well, I mean, I guess the way Friday ended, that was one of your best um, buying opportunities. I use uh Reddit every day when they allowed third party. Apps, Reddit would pop. Yeah, yeah. Read that tweet, Coop. What do I got? More alpha. We're going higher. Higher. This thing about Buddy Man and oh boy. Like, if you're being made fun of, either make fun of them back or block them and pretend that the people making fun of you don't exist. Those are your only two options. Okay? And if somebody is making cartoons of you peeing your pants and the ridiculous company that you've made, maybe think about, wait, what am I doing to create this sort of environment where people are mocking me like this? Not that self-aware, you don't want crippling self-awareness because I think, I think there is a, um, too much of a premium. There's too much value put on self-awareness these days. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to cripple yourself with, um, neuroses and self-awareness. But at that point, when the, you know, when the pee, pee underwear shows up on your timeline, you think, okay, fuck, man. Am I ruining my brand? What am I doing? I got to reach out to some people that might be able to help me. Don't call people. Don't dox people. Don't threaten people. I mean, you kidding me? You start behaving like that. You might find somebody that will fight back. Do you really want to get into a court of law when you're selling fantasy land? I don't know. All right. Crypto for change. Another tweet. Rawr. Ready for that next leg up. If you want to know where it's going, just go look at the missed chart. Oh, my God. Hate you, people.
I like Shaq. Man, everything is meme coins. Everybody and everything is meme coins, folks. We are in the froth. What are we doing? Why is it like this? Why is it like this? It ends poorly, but you know, are you going to allow yourself not to get rich while <laughs> during in the meantime? You know what I mean? Like this is I mean, everybody that's this is the thing. Who said it? Was it Warren Buffett? Is it uh, whoever said this? There's some quote that I'm probably paraphrasing, but being early is the same as being wrong. So you might be think you might know that meme coins are all going to rug and fail because it's ridiculous and it's an absolute shit coin casino out there right now. You may know with a hundred percent conviction. You may know. You may have never known anything more that this is a total scam. You might be a Bitcoiner and you might be like, all of this bullshit is going to zero, Solana included. And you might be right in a certain amount of time, but right now you couldn't be more wrong. That's something that I've had to learn over many years is that you can't just get stuck, even though I continue to be a bit conservative and miss out on a lot of different opportunities, to be honest. I'm not the most adept at deploying capital. I also have three kids. I have real world responsibilities. I have bills. I have things that I got to pay. So it's not like I can just continue to gamble on all of your fucking shit. But, you know, you know I got to gamble a little bit. But still. Don't fade the, the the wackos, folks. You gotta you gotta support the wackos. You gotta figure it out, and you 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 don't want to hold the zero either. But anyways, I'm just rambling. I just I'm just gonna miss you guys when I leave. You know what I'm saying? Right now, this is all of us. We're all walking down the street. We all just said goodbye at uh at the you know at the breakfast place. We all had breakfast together or brunch. Let's call it brunch because we're a bunch of uh, see, you can't just say that live on Twitter. You have to censor yourself sometimes. That's for Patreon. Um, we're all having brunch like a bunch of pansies. And we, uh, a, a little a little bundle of daisies. Um, and we uh, we're, we're like, all right, bye guys. And then we're all walking the same direction to our car. And now we're awkwardly all, just all 419 of us are walking the same direction. We've already said goodbye. All right, folks. Um we going higher. He told me that Reddit would pop. He did tell me that. You can promote the XGov grants now when people have opportunity to get it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now we're open for proposals in XGov. I think I should. Everybody loves me in the algorithm. Maybe I should have ask Oyster Pack if he'd like to help me write an um, a XGov proposal. You think he'll help? We going higher. There you go. Oh, look. More alpha. Crypto for change, talking about higher. This crypto for change guy is full of it. Good morning, fisherman. Good morning, fisherman. He's another guy that's full of the alpha. When post about aping Reaper presale, Coop needs the validation that you will ape. Still seeing $1 transaction fees on base every now and then. It all matters on congestion of the blobs. Not going to lie, I really enjoy watching Coop scroll Twitter. <laughs> Cap hits, what's up? Yes, currently they are close to $1 because people are aping those memes and gems. Oh, man. Hey there, Coop. What's up, Christopher Swens? There we go. All right, folks. Well, hey, look, you guys did great today. We had fun. Tomorrow, tomorrow is another day in the life of Cooper. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Tuesday. I think we're going to actually have an uh, we're going to have a show on the earlier side tomorrow. We won't be waiting until close to 11, 2 p.m. Eastern. It'll be on the earlier side. So we'll see what happens in the markets until tomorrow. trying to think was there i feel like there was something else i wanted to talk about see see we're all just walking down the street right now and i'm like where's your car and you're like oh it's still further down that way i'm like oh yeah mine too <laughs> okay well how's your sister your sister doing good i don't have a sister yeah i don't really know you do i damn it shouldn't have said that sister thing 
revealed that I don't even really know this guy. Um, uh, okay, let's just go to, I'm going to go to CNBC because we still have further to go on the car. Um, but do, do, do anything market market. Are the S and P 500 is flipped red, but it's doing fine. Everything sideways are red. Um, it's all the same shit from 45 minutes ago. Okay. Why don't I just want to quit today? I don't know why. Cause I'm having fun with you people. All right, folks. Well, Hey, thank you so much for tuning in all 427 of you. Let's get this up to a thousand. That'd be fun. Let's get the live viewership up to a thousand people. I think that that's where we need to get next. Average a thousand people. Then I start averaging 2000 people and then I can do this all day. My wife can't tell me no at that point. I've been missing the Coop FUD. Why do people not like him? Why don't people not, why do people not like Coop? Coop? Coop, why don't they like you? I don't know, man. I'm so nice. Yeah, but you're kind of an asshole too. I know, but who cares? Like, who cares? Guys, who cares? Look, if you want me, the thing is, is why people don't like me sometimes is that I say the things that I think that may not be the most rosy outlook for their investment. And they think, why would he say shit like that? That is maybe bad for my investment. There's 426 people watching his show. Those are 426 people that could potentially pump up my investment. If he says things that are bad about my investment, those 426 people might, might sell my investment. So he's not thinking about me. He's not thinking about my investment. No, I'm not. I've got a show to do. And the only value that I can actually provide here is my, um, my own honest take. That's all I got. That's all I got in my opinion, my insight, my, uh, my sources, my sources. You know what I'm saying? And a little bit of fun, folks. So look, if you don't like what I'm saying, then just listen to the next thing I say. Because the next thing might be something you like. I might say something like, oh, shit, damn. Oh, whoa. Algorand Foundation got uh, a lot of people on the left, don't they? <laughs> damn, just keeps on coming. And then... Um, the next thing I might say is like, hell yeah, you should have cut off Ran Labs. And then the next thing I might say is like, okay, well, okay. Look at those lefties in India. Look at that group of developers and those young people that they're they're um, teaching Algorand to. Oh shit, look at Python. That's pretty cool, man. Like, is this going to work? Are they really going to have a, an upswell of, uh, of builders in India, the most populated country in the world? So just listen to the next thing I say. And then you know what hot take or some alpha or some um, some social media training for you? When you start two days later after it died down, start posting um, weird shit about the thing that I said two days ago, you just breathe more life into it. So if you don't want the, con the conversation to continue about the thing you don't like, engage on the thing that you do like, and then we just move forward, right? Because this shit changes daily and things aren't as black and white. I'm not just an investor in your single token. I'm an, a, an investor in many tokens and stocks and um, self-defense. <laughs> just kidding. But, her. But, I, but I'm just saying that I'm an investor in many things. So I'm not going to just be concerned about your thing. You understand? Like me ranting with uh, CNBC in the background. So look, we're all a big happy family and we can disagree on occasion. Just as long as we come back and find common ground, folks, I can hang out with you. You can be the most uh, left or most right weirdo in the world. You know what I mean? You can have the most hysterical things viewpoint of the status of the world and me and you can sit there and talk about something. I promise you. I promise you. We're all good. We can agree on many different things. We don't have to agree on certain things. I gotta show you my Bowser cup. I love you back, Fred. I love you back. I've been missing the coop fight. Okay. Uh, Fred is, um, it has been his uh, supporter of the show, a massive team me member, a major team member over at Gora Network. Gora is a builder in the Algorand ecosystem that is branching out multi-chain, building really cool shit um, in testnet for Gorafi, Gorafi, 
or Gorify, however you want to call it. Um, and they, um, they've been supportive of this show from the beginning. I've had Abdul on the show several times. I've done their spaces. Love that team. Python is good for bringing new devs to crypto, but Teal Script is good to attract the solidity webs, devs, bebs, and mebs. Absolutely, folks. And Cooper Daniels, have a good day, man. Taco, man, have a good day too. I want to go to Cyprus with Evis, and I want to eat some damn tacos in Iowa with Taco Coin Man. Got a lot of things I want to do. All right, folks. All right. Hey, I appreciate all 426 of you. Thank you so much for showing up. And uh, hey, folks. It's 11.54. It's time to go. I'll see you.